Welcome back. CTV Morning Live is what you're watching, and we're talking with some gentlemen from the Youth of Christ and about the new building or the new house, I guess, that just got built. Uh, Byron Toth. Yes. Yes, I knew I was these. Rob was Hartman here as well, and he was giving me a hard time about Byron's last name, and I was getting worried that I was going to say it wrong, but we did it. We Thank did you it. for being here. I do what I can to agitate him at times. <laughs> That's, awesome. That's what friendship's all about, right? Uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, this new project and how it's going. It's been a week now, I guess, since it's opened its doors and a lot of excitement about helping at-risk youth. Yeah, well, it's about, I guess, uh, three years in the making. Uh, since 2009, we've had youth homes in the province and we started with U-Turn, which had actually been involved um, in Brandon and so it's uh, that's kind of where things birthed out of we started a u-turn home and then uh, rob can talk a little bit more about uh, the opportunities that we've had since then okay yeah i guess um we uh we started out with um the older kids and then um i actually want to give a huge shout out to uh, ranch airless society that's where i came from and that's where i was trained it's a fantastic organization that uh, works with youth um, from all across the different provinces, uh, some would consider them really tough youth um, with lots of behavioral issues. And so I was trained at Rancherlo and was able to work with uh, younger people, and that was one of the needs that we had. And the idea behind it is that it's sort of a, a graduation program for those that come from a protective model. And what that means is when kids first come into the care of the Ministry of Social Services, they might need a little bit more structure and supervision and safety. And so it's a very high staff, high structure um, situation that they come from. From, when the kids can graduate from that and have a little bit more independence and kind of more normalcy, like sort of your normal teenage life would be, then they come into our program. And so we have a little bit less uh, structure and let more opportunities for them to um, exercise um, their independence and their problem solving skills around, okay, I've got some friends, they want me to go out and do this, but I've got to be back at curfew at this time, or I've got this going on at school, and so how do I cope with that, and how do I deal with those issues? So we provide the supports for them and uh, to help them be successful with those kind of normal teenage activities. Right, and you do great work, obviously, uh, working with youth, uh, troubled youth that maybe wouldn't have a shot, or maybe would end up in a, in a, in a really bad place, but you, you take the initiative to to help those people and uh, kudos to you for all you do for the community as well um, people that want to donate that still want to help out for upcoming projects that sort of thing obviously it takes money where can they go yeah um, on our website yfcregina.com uh, there's an opportunity to donate there and on the 22nd of October we're having our hope dinner and so we're really excited about that. And Cities Under Fire, a band from the Battlefords area, is going to be down to play at it. And it's an opportunity that we have to really share a lot of the things that we do and the work that we do both Perfect. in the homes and um, in different schools and across the province with youth in different ways. Excellent. Well, thanks so much for being here and sharing with us. You can go to the website on your screen. 